All right, following in the same ideology of adding HCl or HBr or HI to a carbon-carbon double bond, we can also add sulfuric acid. Now, if you remember from your general chemistry, sulfuric acid, HCl, HBr, and HI are all strong acids, so they don't really exist as H and Cl, they exist as H plus and Cl minus. The same thing is going to be true of sulfuric acid. That first hydrogen there doesn't really attach to the molecule. What we really have something that looks like this. Now, the second hydrogen is the HSO4. That's a weak acid, so that hydrogen is going to stick on there. But this is really what's floating around when we have H2SO4 in the reactor. So what's going to happen? Well, again, we can kind of draw a temporary resonance structure where we displace this double bond. We put a lone pair here for negative one formal charge and a plus one here for the carbocation. So this is going to be a Markovnikov reaction. Again, that carbocation, if we can get rearrangement in order to stabilize it, so take it from like a secondary to a tertiary, a primary to a secondary, we're going to have that effect. So if we want to run this reaction, we want to run it in such a way that where we're attaching that carbon is the most substituted or we can't rearrange the, the configuration. So our negative one charge here, our lone pair, is going to attach to the hydrogen. And we are going to lose our hydrogen and add it to the double bond. Now, much with the BR, HBR, HI, and HCl, or HCl, we have a carbocation here. It's square planar. We can add to either side. So if this creates a chiral center, we're going to get a racemic mixture of both configurations. But our lone pair here on the oxygen is going to act like a Lewis base, and we're going to attach directly there. So this is what we're going to end up getting. I guess I should actually draw the whole thing out for you. We're going to get this structure. So if we ever add H2SO4, sulfuric acid, to an alkene, what we'll get is we'll get a addition across the double bond. So we'll put a hydrogen on the least substituted carbon and this SO4H substituted carbon bridging oxygen between the sulfur and the oxygen to the most substitute carbon. This is a Markovnikov reaction. Because this is a Markovnikov reaction, we're creating a carbocation. We are also going, if we create chiral centers, we're going to create both mixtures. We're going to create, create a racemic mixture of both. And on top of that, we're going to add to the most substitute carbon. So this SO4 minus, SO4H minus 1, that's going to get added to the most substitute carbon.